ashamed of yourself. What's up, guys? <laughs> Some people just can't handle change. Apparently not. So you guys doing all right? Um, uh, I'm doing okay. I'm calmed down a bit after what happened yesterday. What happened yesterday? Um, I went out to go vote, but oh. I didn't get a chance to vote. Oh, no, it doesn't really have anything to do with the voting, but this woman I had ran into on the <laughs> sidewalk on my way to go vote. Um, it was an elderly woman, about around 45 to 60, somewhere in that range. I couldn't make a good estimate. But she was slumped over in a walker. I didn't really think too much of it. I just went around her slowly and I just said hello. Okay. Um, the polls closed early, motherfuckers. So I had made a turn back and was heading back home. And that lady I ran into before was still in the same spot. But my mother was there talking to her. Mm -hmm. So I stopped and asked my mother what had happened, and she said she had collapsed out of her walker. Uh -huh. Yeah. And she was, like I said, she was slumped over. She was mumbling. She was kind of drooling out of her mouth. I figured she might have just had a stroke or something. And there was a motel nearby, so I tried to ask her if that's where she came from, like she had a room there and she was just nodding her head a little bit yes so I went across the street talked to the manager and I asked him does he recognize that lady does she have a room here he said yes so me and my mom decided we're gonna help her back to her room which we did and uh, I went down to the gas station that's nearby and I got her a sandwich and some water I told her I was gonna come back with that we asked her if she was gonna be okay she said yeah so I got the sandwich, came back, she was sitting up beside the bed, slumped over again, but with a gash open on her forehead. Oh, Jesus She had to fill out a bed. Right. Yeah. Mm. She had to fill out of bed and hit her head, and it was just a small pool of blood there. So at that point, I called 911, told her what had happened. They came, picked her up, and took her to the hospital. I'm starting to wonder how many times am I going to have to see human blood before I can actually get used to it. It's like the first time I had to call 911 on someone. So yeah, uh, good I didn't help. vote. Good thing you helped me. I didn't vote. I... Yeah. It's not like I can give a shit what happens. And yeah, like we were trying to help her across the street and nobody was like... Like the manager didn't even seem like he gave much of a shit. He just said, yeah, he, has to play. he was like a foreign guy. But, yeah. And we were like, we were trying to help her across the street. It was like none of the cars wanted to stop or like, you know, people wanted to stop and check to see if everything was okay. It was just the two of us just helping her. And that honestly made me sad and cry because like, this woman was just by herself and nobody was giving a damn. Like, besides me and my mom, but that was just so damn heartbreaking. Doing all right. I just got off from work. 
Good. Good. Uh, could be better. Can you drink my drink? Still kicking and breathing. Let's see what's like. <laughs> that looks dumb. So, have you guys seen my screenshot of my PS2 controller breaking? And I had to change it into a steering wheel because there's the only, there's the only other controller that I had working. What were we playing? I was playing uh, Wild Arms 3 and my controller like broke because I think it got old or something. Because once I finished oh. the chapter and then I went to the save menu and then it suddenly stopped and the lights inside the PS2 controller just stopped working. And then I keep on restarting and then I was kind of disappointed. And <laughs> I got an idea, I opened up my cabinet and then I grabbed my steering wheel. <laughs> And I use it to play instead. <laughs> play nice. play an RPG <laughs> with a steering wheel. Nice. Most people would have threw it away or something. No, you got it. Yeah. With MacGyver on that shit. Maybe I should try to find a way to fix my old controller, or uh, or trade it with my old friend for. A new PS2 controller or something. Because goddamn, I I burned like uh, five or six games. I know it's piracy, but I burn I burn a lot of DVDs already, and then I say, oh cool. Finally, I can stop playing the games that I never get to play. And suddenly, my controller stopped, and I was like, oh my god, at this at this day, like exactly that day. And I just want to stop playing. I love getting PS2 stuff again. This Shit, I'm still surprised I was able to find a PS2 at a hardware store. Never opened. Oh, good. That, that is nice. Swag. And the guy only wanted twenty five dollars for it. I was like, "Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. Why? That's not bad." No, like he had a PS two Slim, never open from the box. Like it's just never used, fresh, and he just gave it away for like twenty five dollars. Like I, I, was, I ran to the fucking bank and got that fucking money and got that fucking Jesus. system. I, I didn't say shit. Probably get robbed in there. Call me a fag, but I got a fucking sword for ten bucks from Google because some retard donated it. Yeah, like shit. Well, I don't know. Call me a fag. Are we talking actual metal? Metal? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Why? Uh, no, I'm just asking. Ten bucks. Um, oh, I just know that it's one of those swords where there's supposed to be a second one. Supposed to screw it on together. I think. I don't know. I'm not a fucking faggot like that. So, something like a Soul Edge? I don't know. It, it, I just. I saw a fucking thing display case and I'm like, what the hell is this? I look at it, expecting it to be 50 bucks, and it's like, nope, 10. So, I was like, oh, fuck it. Not a bad deal. Yeah. I mean, over here, that's a 10 bucks or so to mine. Love the deal. I just love finding cheap shit people can make mad bank off of, but they don't realize it. <laughs> and I just. That shit up for a cheap price. I mean, somebody found a working PS3 back then in the trash can. I think it was a PS4, <laughs> yeah, it was a PS4. Somebody threw it away. What a dumb fuck. I don't know. I'm sure I sell my PS3 because I haven't used it since, well, years. And yet, and I can play PlayStation 1 games. And again, I can just get ROMs. But it wouldn't be 
be as authentic as some people would like to say. Yeah, but see, there's going to come a point where all of my PS1 games are going to rot. Yeah, that's true. Nothing lasts forever. Eh, piracy. No, right. But he has the original copy, so it shouldn't. It should be fine. Doesn't like really matter. It's all about preservation at this point. I mean, Something exactly. Nintendo seems to fail to understand. Yeah. It's everyone else. Sony's okay with it. Microsoft's okay with it, but Nintendo, oh no. Oh Jesus. <laughs> the internet's around, there's always a way to get their hands on them. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank God for the internet. Yeah, it's kind of 50-50. It's a blessing and a curse. Yeah, it depends. It always depends. Like getting your hands on cool shit? Sure. Haven't seen people get super sensitive to the point they cry over a fucking better on a character's head in a video game? Bad. Hey guys, you wanna hear my douche impression? <laughs> meow, 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 our bullshit is good. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> Meow 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 meow. <laughs> Should do shit. So here I'm back guys. Yeah, I was silent. I was working on something. Hello darkness, my old friend. Ducky, my old friend. I've come to masturbate with you. I must hydrate. So is everyone watching Dusha's stream? Is he going yeah, to finish? I am. Is he going to finish this game already? This should be the last level. Oh. This is the last level. I mean, the game doesn't do a good job in in separating or giving difference in in the environment. You don't even know whether or not you're going to finish this game. Everything looks the same. I mean, what's worse than than a uh, Unreal Engine game would be uh, Unity Engine game. Because uh, 
there's always a point that even though the game is so simple, it doesn't even want to load. For different reasons. Fix what? Fix that. What, what you just said, Doom Eternal. No, <laughs> they did not fix anything. Because, uh, yeah, um, I... is there's a few reasons why they picked Unity Engine. Because it's easy to work on. You can, like, uh, import as assets and then you just modify it easily. But there's a, yeah, but there's a game like for Dungeons and Dragons game or CRPGs. You definitely shouldn't use use a Unity engine because um, I bought Pathfinder, which is exactly like a, what? Oh, no, no, sorry. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway, there's a there's a D and D game called Pathfinder, and I went and keep downloading it. It's kind of like a the time when I buy it is around f fifteen downloaded it. It will be like fifteen G GBs, but Around now, it's around 33 GBs of Unity Engine assets. So by the time when I want to load it, it takes like 8 or 9 minutes just to load the game. I got them. The Spider Mastermind. You do if you ever saw that in your house. Raid. What's the obvious answer? Man? Kill it. With what? With a hammer or something? Something, something heavy, yeah. Something. Shitting out some storage. Yeah, I'm looking forward for Fallout 76, which is around seven more days. I heard it's a shit show right now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I heard the game got hacked already. Fantastic. Yeah, you can mod it already. Yeah, I know. There's speed hacking or something. Considering it's using the same engine as like Fallout 4 and the other game for it, I'm not that surprised. Time is six really cool as shit. Like, considering it. I also heard the game has a bug where it deletes itself from the hard drive. <laughs> Yeah, that happened during one of the beta, beta plays, I believe. How do you fuck that up? I don't know. I seem like game companies just past months I've been doing stupid shit. The Diablo thing is hilarious. Oh yeah. Don't you guys have phones? You don't have phones! <laughs> oh man. I feel they're bad they're for those people that are on that stage. Then I hear after that they're stopped. I also feel bad for the people who bought virtual tickets. Virtual tickets? Yeah. You can buy virtual tickets to attend BlizzCon, like... I believe it's virtually you get a live stream for some shit. You have to pay for a live stream. There's a scam. That kiss, man. 
Mars. Like, I don't know, it's just no, it's like some BlizzCon virtual tickets for something. I guess it's for live stream to pay to see events and stuff exclusively. I don't know. I really don't know. It's just. I know people wanted their damn money back after seeing that. You guys have phones, right? You guys have you guys have ass, but you don't like anal, right? <laughs> I have a phone. It's a music and phone calls. Oh, it's just by BlizzCon. So that audience, right? I'm still laughing at that one guy who made that comment. Like, is this in late? April Fool's prank and the crowd is just cheered. It's like, they unveiled this game for mobile, nobody said a goddamn thing. Dude roasted people on stage and everybody just fucking cheered. I mean, I like mobile games, but Diablo shouldn't be in mobile. In any shape or form. they got when he said we're not bringing this to PC yeah, yeah that's, that's all I was gonna say they shouldn't <laughs> they shouldn't they shouldn't focus on mo mobile you think after what EA did earlier earlier this year with Red, Com Red Command and Conqueror other company would have took note and like let's not do that it's like they looked at it like you think you're bad EA here Hold my microtransactions, I'm a one-up your ass. Yeah, but more people have phones and PCs. And we want that shit. If Nintendo ever put Star Fox on mobile with microtransactions, I will seriously send them a funky letter. I'm um, three, yes. So that's a good thing. Good. Good thing you're not a Mario friend because they made a Mario app, a Mario gaming app back then. What makes it worse is like it's some Chinese company that does mobile games, and they somebody did like a comparison between the Diablo one that's coming out and one of their other games and it just it honestly looks just like a reskin. Yeah, it's just China. just more to yeah, mobile trash. And apparently people have been waiting like five to six years for a new Diablo game. Like damn. You don't do that. You don't do that to your hardcore fans. And there's they're still milking Diablo three. Yeah, which I hear is shit. Yeah, it's too shit. I hate it. Uh, it's not. It's not my jam. I mean, um, if you played Diablo three before, they painted the whole canvas so that your three dimensional model of your character it looks very off putting. But once you like go down the stairs. And the stairs is painted by by some somebody, and you can see there's a gap between your character and the and the floor they are walking on. It looks jarring. It looks horrible. I hated it so much. It looks like a very so, bad game. So that, Resident Evil Two. Yeah. Yeah, I'm waiting for the remake. I'm so into the remake right now. Which is coming out next year, March. Yeah, so people were really waiting on. They said it was either like a Diablo Four or a remake, but no, nah, people got this. Hell, even their stocks took a bit of a hit. Mm. Not that that really matters, but that just show them how much people don't want this shit. There he goes. Oh, he's going. 
that down. I'm going to kick his ass in the second game. Has anyone seen the new wa Walking Dead game made by people who made Payday 2? I mean, it looks kind of good. Isn't that on? Yeah. Isn't that on Steam right now? Yeah, it is. No sir, no it isn't. Because Walking Dead sucks dick. I wonder why. I never, I haven't even watched this episode of Walking Dead, so got no no idea about it. I like some of the characters though. The that guy with the with the red scarf and a. Uh, Bob wire uh, bats or something? He's gonna be in Tekken 7. Uh, with the rest of the uh, Bob wire. Uh... Yeah, I think his name is Negan. So, Gion, how many years have you been drawing? Uh, to, make, to make it simpler, how, how many years have you have you started drawing as a career? I mean, you just haven't started drawing. It's like what? As a as a job, as a freelance job. Oh. In uh, 2014, I believe. So four years. Four years. A lot of ups, a lot of downs. Yeah. A lot of commissions I wish I never took. That's good. Ever found like drawing drawings to be tough to do? Like it takes a lot from you or something? Um, depending on what it is. Like somebody wanted me to draw like this really hyper fat stuff. That's a little too far out of my comfort zone. Ooh. And it's like, you draw it big, and it's like, I want it bigger. And it's like, okay, it's, it's even bigger. Like, <laughs> I want it bigger. I want it thick. Like, it's to the point now, I just draw it as big as fucking possible. I can possibly can. Because I never hear that's too big from anybody, so, yeah. I can't think of it like it's just out there. Because I 
never hear nests be. Goldie is here. Hey, hey Goldie. No, wait, that's I'm, I'm, I'm the orange juice. <laughs> Douche is the chocolate fudge. No chocolate. Oh, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm. And I'm just a comedian with this. Oh, no. Oh, no. Did I seriously just find this on F.A.? Someone yeah. put the crown on Fox. <laughs> no one cared who we was until he put on the crown. I've, I've posted it. I've seen that. I've seen that already. I'm putting this shit. It was even Fox that wearing the peach, toting <laughs> peach head crown. Goldie, are you still playing Killing Floor? I have no. several questions. I have several questions! Why the fuck do you guys keep thinking Saren is me? What the fuck is a Saren? <laughs> I don't know, it's okay, I get it, alright? <laughs> Wait. They are watching the street, you? too. They hear us. Aren't you Saren? Uh, I don't know what's going on, but it's awesome. There's... There's Dova Boys. Dova Boys. I just bracing myself for when they do it again. Like, I'll just burst out dying. What's a die? I'm like, 
Oh god. I had a rough freaking long day. Ugh. Good. At least get a laugh. Ugh. Is there anything you're looking forward to? Yeah. Well, I got snow. Snow. No, really, we got a lot of snow outside. Yeah, I can't wait for December it, it, when it's gonna be dry. Thanks, global warming. Snow. Oh my god, hold on. Found something on Twitter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Didn't you read the book? She turned into a furry once. Yes. Yeah. Oh, he's just actually thinking of throwing one at me because of reasons, and I'm like, are you fucking serious? <laughs> How old is that guy? Um, I believe he's 21 or 22. Saren, I don't like the Funko Pop line. Oh, I do. It's 21. Let me guess. Fuck. The only rule is it has to be fur shit or something that isn't human. Human because the human ones are the same fucking thing. <laughs> but even then, I I choose shit very carefully. Are you still talking about the Harry Potter shit? No, just Funko Pops in general. Oh, okay. Forget being white and a devoted Christian, like your Lord and Savior Butch Hartman. Timmy, Ew. do you know who's Butch Hartman? He made me. I should take that back. I'd rather not be his dad. Yeah. Not knowing that Butch Hartman is the. It's it's your maker. He made you. I mean, I mean, Butch Hartman is okay. He, he's not like a sex predator or something. I mean, he's just a devoted Christian. He's trying to convert little kids into Christian, but uh, yeah, and in, a, as fuck. in a legal way. Yeah, he's really arrogant, but yeah. Nah, come on. Who 
much of it, he's an asshole. Yeah. A little bit of that, but he's mostly arrogant. Like I said, if you watch that one video of him, and he's like, do you know who I am? You think you can take me down? Like, damn, dude. Tone it back a bit. Dude, you only need one. There was that one TV special of Crash Nebula, but that never got off the ground. Oh God. He was involved with Rocco, I think it was his bunch bomb. He was involved with Dugo. Oh, wait, maybe it was, um, um, Johnny Bravo. I don't think it's fucked up at the music box. Uh, you know, I haven't seen Alpha Rat in some time. He's okay, I guess. I mean, out of all the animators, there are some other worse animators out there that I can think of. I'm not, I'm not a butch, butch apologist, but I can see even worse people out there. Let's not forget about the guy who made Loud Hells. Yeah, I know. Oh, the guy that Jesus. I regret. I had to kick the bot to the void. God damn it. I, I regret liking, liking and watching Loud House. Fuck me. Ah, fucking hell. Oh, shit. Wow. Don't let the creator ruin the show for you. Uh, yeah. I left the ship Why? long ago. <laughs> well. Yeah. Like for me, I hate Steven Universe. It's not because of the fandom or anything behind it. I just thought the show was honestly boring. This show is shit because Rebecca Sugar can't fucking write. Yeah. I just found the animation style to be in too much inconsistency. Like I don't mind a few inconsistencies oh, here. No, it's like they have different artists working on different scenes, so because it's a stylistic choice. As for terrible reason, <laughs> and everybody's like, "It's such a great story." And I sat through like forty episodes, and it was just nothing but filler. And I'm like, "Okay, I had enough yep. brain cancer for one day." Like, <laughs> brain cancer. Two-hour video about <laughs> Steven Universe is shit. Yeah. No, I don't need to see a video about it. I seen it firsthand. Why is shit? It's boring. It's yeah. inconsistent. There's no good story or character development. I keep hearing people say there is. Oh, feel bad for the na the Nazis. Yeah, na Nazi no. apologies. That's but what it is because Yellow Diamond was named as a fucking. As a, <laughs> and then, then for no reason, Rebecca to Sherv is like, no, she feels bad because Pink Diamond died. I honestly don't care. <laughs> Retarded, how it's written. But you know what? At least we got Paradot. Okay, Paradot is the only is the only good character in the whole show. Anyone that likes Lapis Lazuli is a colossal fag and a, and a tumbler wreck. Um. Uh, uh, <laughs> what are you talking about? I I don't like Lapis. Yeah, I don't like her. She. She's an emo, yeah, that is. I don't like <laughs> Yeah, it's all the fun she gives. Like, 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 and she's literally only there. And I'm mad, and you guys must pay. For lapping out bullshit. I, I like the fan of yeah. Lapis, oh. to be honest. She has no personality, and she's only. I, I like I like Fenos, Fenos of Lapis with a also badass. suffers from um the Scrappy Do effect, which is um in this case Stephen because Stephen has to be present no matter the question. Yeah. <laughs> like the only thing I do like from Stephen Universe is that one short clip that just came out recently. Jim, Jim, and Jenny. Dad, you don't like mowing the lawn? What kind of fucking boomer are you? I mean, I like mowing a certain lawn, if you're talking about that lawn. Jesus. It's like, it's like hearing for a bonsai tree. You ran into that one. 
I was referring to my girlfriend, but okay. <laughs> I mean, if I wanted to draw myself eating your ass, I do that any damn day of the week. Yeah. Well, I thought, I thought you did that already. Why the what did you see? Do you want Plaga posted? No. What did he post? Yeah, I shot <laughs> something on Twitter or F.A.? Twitter. Like, he just lashed out. <laughs> Hold on, let me go see what this is, then. Yeah, like, he... With the box is so unusual of him, and it's like... Wow. I, don't I know, it was Plaga that, like, something happened. I saw that on Twitter. Yeah, today. like, I woke up to that, and I was like, what the fuck? Sorry, what are we talking about again? Oh, someone on Twitter we know. Uh, Plaga, art animator, good furry animator, good furry porn animator, who also happens to be a fan of mine. Um, he made a post on Twitter this morning, yeah. or in the wee hours of the morning, and he was, he sounded like, my, okay, based on my guesses, he has to be going through something. He fucking lashed out everyone, and just said, oh, I'm gonna stop streaming. I, I'm just, I'm just sick of you people, or something like that. Oh. Like, he just sounded so fucking down that everyone replied asking, Dude, what the hell? Yeah, hang on, fog alert, hang on. Yeah, I'm looking at his tweets right now, I don't really see anything regarding that. Something about being popular, maybe, but... Oh, okay. I think he deleted it. You should have screenshot it. You should have screenshot yeah, isn't there like yeah. a, isn't there like a, Twitter archive or something? Uh, no. I don't know. Once you delete it, it is really hard. It's really really hard to get it back, unless you're. Yeah, he took down. Yeah, yeah he took down the post. Yeah. It's gone. But if you actually Maybe? see, I guess I guess he had like a mood swing there for a sec. I um, like deleted it. It's so fucking weird. Hold on, let's see if I can find it because I know I, re I replied to it. <laughs> yeah, well, if you see anything out of a norm, you wasn't know. Plaga even like lashing out against Sonic 2 about Sonic? Like Sonic 2? Mm. I don't know. That's what I got at once. I thought Sonic. Dick, like, no, I'm not accepting this blog, fuck off. What? It's like, what? Yeah, if you see anything weird, just screenshot it. Because back then, back then, like, I think, uh, last month, there was a plan shooting, and he, that guy tweeted it. So I didn't screenshot it. I just sent it to the FBI. I sent it to the to the Twitter Twitter staff, and then he immediately deleted it. So I don't have the proof anymore. But everybody knew it. They they are keeping watch on him. He was gonna like uh, shoot another shooting in Las Vegas or something. Somebody's quoting. I'm guessing they quoted something he said earlier today, about eight hours ago. Okay. Saying nobody gives a flying fuck about anything I do. I'm tired of being contacted by artists. Things like this don't add up, chief. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. So he just randomly snapped about something? Actually, pissed off. Like, 
legitimately so I so at the time too like a lot of the places that I was being interviewed at I swear to god I felt like they were they had the most bullshit requirements you know like like here's a great example like a man can never work at a hallmark because it's a women's shop that's a fact <laughs> the fuck feminism <laughs> Sexist. Oh yeah, that's what I was viewing it as. It's like, oh yeah, they're being fucking sexist. So oh. at least it sounds about right. Um, some places also have like just dumbass fucking requirements. Like, oh no, you gotta look pretty. Oh, you gotta fucking look peppy. Whatever. Pretend that you're happy, but you're not. <laughs> Top the haircut, shade. On that bullshit. So, Lance, you know, I get paid like $13 an hour just doing almost nothing if provided everything has been taken care of. Right. I don't know about you, but I make good money. Hmm. Not a huge it's amount. Healthy. It helps you get by. Oh, I mean, you sound uh, Well. Uh, Stuka, you alright? I don't know what uh, state you're from, Silencio, but I heard you're right, Matt. Um, the start, the starting pay is like twelve bucks. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna explain it's like that. Almost, almost twelve and a half. If you if you do both of them, I don't know. back work. Brother kind of should have helped to get the thing working. If it was his PR. Some people would get paid more. Oh, right, well, well bro, man, man, forget about it. I don't. Broken already, anyway. That's probably why he got himself fucking five. Uh, there had to have been something going on with you, or I. Uh, working well, fine. Well, it don't matter now, because now it is fucked. Uh. You are just hard, fucking hard to work with, I guess. Well, I don't know how I'm gonna explain a smashed headset to my brother, though. I don't Obviously, I got, I got frustrated with it in a blind rage. I just slammed it on the floor, and the freaking thing smashed. Yeah. I don't know how I'm gonna explain that to my brother. I mean, it's not gonna smash into pieces if it gets wrapped around your foot and just fall off of the desk. Sorry. I haven't even paid for it. I haven't even paid for it yet. Froman's not in chat. No, he's not. Why? No, Blazing. Uh, no, Blazing and Ox Froman bought the two, the two sprites, and I sent them out. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh cool. Mm. Nice. God, I'm really starting to hate the winter. I actually had to work outside in the cold today. Oh man, Arctic blast <laughs> coming. <laughs> Brace yourself, winter's coming. Not already here country. for me. Just reported that we're gonna be struck by Arctic conditions like in a week. Oh, that'll be fun. Oh boy. Well, good thing I got my uh my Karugami. Well, I'm not bothered by the cold really, at least I'm all rusted <laughs> off. Just so happens to be a fucking coat and everything. Um a Fortnite outfit, but it's not that I like the game, it's that I just thought it looked neat, because it's the fucking Dark Odyssey guy, is, and I thought it looked cool, so I was like, you know what, because I got 30% off plus another half off, I only paid like about 20 bucks for that motherfucker. As I right. 40, uh, was like 40 or 50 bucks. Also, uninstall yeah. my VR games. Uh, that's the only plus side of working at, at the Halloween store was, uh, I saved a lot of money. <clears throat> I know. Let's go. So, like, I actually got my... No. I actually ended up getting almost the entire collection of them because, um, I have a, I have a brother that's really into Fortnite. I don't care for it, but he does. One of the other plush outfits. So I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'll do it. <laughs> and then another relative of mine 
wanted a um, Pokemon themed one. <laughs> I ended up getting that. Pokey so, me. Yeah, we're we're just a bunch of fucking we're just a bunch of fucking idiots in Karugamis. <laughs> Huh. Oh, don't feel bad. I hate oh, to man. confuse myself. Especially when go, the question okay. seems so... Oh, what's up? Rhetorical. Oh, no. If that's the right okay. description. Gee, oh, those you seem to be very nice to your relatives. For the job. <laughs> you seem to be really, really nice to your relatives. Buying stuff for them. Everything. Step further, and I, told, I actually ended up um, buying the Fortnite signs that we had for like five bucks. <laughs> Spice one is a seasonal one, and it, it, to me, it is the best drink. To me, it really is dangerous. In other words, I would get, get myself pumpkin. so fucking hammered. Oh, yeah. Not even funny. <sighs> you know what? I'm gonna go see if my I... dad even has beer in the refrigerator. The drink I got very packed. And I kinda mm -hmm. like it because it has a. To me, it feels more satisfying. Mm. But I bet you go for the it's flavor. Like... You go for the flavor, not not the feeling of being drunk. Yeah, to me, I like my drinks to have flavor to it. Yeah. But I have thought about getting the the Empress Gin because the, the the liquid is blue. Yeah. And I guess if you mix it with the right stuff, it turns pink. Ooh. Yeah. It's I had no idea. Weird. But it's like thirty something dollars for that shit. I'm like, why? Yeah, look at a cup Empress Gin. <clears throat> Blue liquid changes color. <laughs> Fucking god. Thousand. Well, yeah, it's because somebody told me about that one day. <sighs> Like, oh yeah, have you tried that shit? And I'm like, no. It's just like, yeah, it's actually really good. And also, like, it makes it good um, Is it like orange or something? It turns me. Well, alright, I got my beer. Screw it. Alrighty, we all need a drink. You know what? <sighs> no, I still don't know how I'm gonna explain to my brother how my headset broke. The, the, nope, the contents is actually blue. Just tell him it's broke, I guess. Just I just tell him, like, you know, you can kind of get it to work, but just out of frustration. It's just... Literally... Broke. Yeah. Sometimes you just gotta say, say the truth, accept what's coming. Man, that's... Gee... My brother almost kicked my ass when I actually broke one of his things. But, you know, my parents stepped in and funny. Like, it's because, um... He finds it so awful. That... Money I was saving up to get... Nintendo Switch is going to a new headset now. <laughs> actually, no, actually, no. Fuck it, I'd give up with VR. Wait, wait, no, no. no there is no communist no. version of Monopoly. There's a cheaper version. Is it? Yeah, I heard you can yeah. also use, like, Xbox Connect, kind of like as a door I've thing. I've seen it advertised right. on TV, Monopoly. Cheetah's edition. Ah. Uh, I think. Sour. Oh, I think uh, Killing Floor 2 has that opt in beta now. I don't oh, know. Oh, the Christmas beta already? I think, I think so. I don't know. I'm going to check it out, see if they actually have. Oh, shit. They're all focused on updating the new Christmas update instead of fixing the game. 
That's kind of broke. At times. I'm just gonna check it out. It may not have done yet, but I'm yeah, gonna check it. Out. I'm gonna miss the Halloween one. I mean, I wish they kept the Halloween theme sets for that Monster Ball map. Yeah, trouble is, it affects all the yeah. map. Travis, um, the Millennial Monopoly is a real thing. I went to Walmart and I came across it. By the way, <coughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna make a shitty cosplay. Make a what? A shitty cosplay. Costume. Is it, is it a furry furry related cosplay? Um certain not a certain <laughs> goat. What? You're gonna make a costume of, of Toriel? Oh no. my god. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's so fucking simple. Oh. Simple and yet it's gonna look so awful and that's intentional. Dush is gonna be Lancer. Lancer, oh please. As if I'm not gonna see a bunch of fucking homo stucks doing that. Ah. Uh, homo stuck uh, 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 do you pronounce his name? <coughs> Raziel? Raziel? Oh, you wanna be him? Oh, Douche is gonna play as a gay character. Not, not that I give anything against him. I like him. <laughs> oh, please, like an American guy. Most of our cosplayers that are thick as fuck. And it's still better than Steven Universe 1, if you ask me. Like one of the cosplayers of trolls? Yeah. I'm just saying. I know that, um, come the con, if I go to it, I expect a lot of fucking tumblerettes as, um, oh my god, you got her, Lancer, Chris, or fucking, not, not Blue Diamond. <sighs> Are you talking about rule card? What's up, sir? I don't know what we're talking about. Cosplaying? No, it's that Delta Rune. <laughs> Cosp- You know, maybe for Halloween next year I was thinking of doing a cosplay or something. Oh, you technically did, you Luigi. I, I know, but that- you, No, you no, cosplay- No, I mean a- No, cosplay's a furry or something. <laughs> just, just, get, just get one of those generic- If you don't know, me. Masks. Oh well, I'll just be Mario next time. I was actually asking my coworkers, please, someone be Mario. They were like, no, I guess no one did, so I was Luigi. You know Luigi <laughs> sucks. Luigi. Because I wanted to just think of next year do Mario, then it's like I just pull out some bread in front of customers and like, you know what they say, all toasters, toast, toast. They probably won't get it at all. Funny. Nah, it's um, not. It's best to do that kind of shit at a con. Still comment. normal. Oh. Even though no, the I hotel Mario. The beta. Oh, they haven't done the beta yet? No, even though they said it was ready. Mm. Unless they mean tomorrow for them. Tomorrow for them, yeah. Yeah, it's still normal. Yeah. Mm. Not well, in the mood for killing floor anyway. But I'm not yeah. in the mood to do anything. Alright. I have to go. Ah, fine. The douche is going to cosplay as Prince Raziel. Because my dad always just ran into like this. Yeah. If I were to cosplay, I'll cosplay as the Fallout power armor, but I need somebody to make me that power armor. Oh, you want to be that power armor? Yeah. <laughs> it looks so good. I've already there, there are different kinds of power armor. There's a original one, it's called the T51. 
but I want to be the X01 or 02, the alien <laughs> looking one. Curious, not that I care, but I mean, did you build Lancer yourself because I did, or just in general? What? Oh, no, you part of the game. Okay. Yeah. Just curious, I don't know. It's like, fuck it, I'll do it as well. So it's not only D oh. who made Lancer, right? Hey Saren, I want you to take some of my snow. I don't want it anymore. Begin snow. I have never really done custom armors for like custom OCs. Maybe you can do one of one of your characters. Do you have to pay a lot for shipping, douche? Wait, what? Do you have to pay like uh, a lot of taxes for just one one parcel? Taxes? Yeah. Those look nice, sir. Are you asking if you have your taxes? Yeah. I mean, I mean, depends on the size of the of the parcel you have to pay more right That's yeah it depends yeah. on the size of it overall because shipping ends up being more expensive yeah i know imagine 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 you got like uh more than two or three people who want your stuff and then you want to ship it it will cost more right Yeah, I think I need to stop. I need to go and eat. See you guys later.